Darby Allen might be able to climb ladders, but he will not be climbing Mount Everest after breaking his foot on big business. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. It was a big broken foot for Darby Allen on Dynamite after all the crazy moves that we've seen Darby Allen do over the years. We've just seen that big swanton through the glass at Revolution. Damn near could have impaled himself, could have ended up stitched to pieces, could have died of blood loss. Could have literally had a big shard of glass go right through his back and take him out of the game forever, not just a few months or weeks. It could have permanently ended Darby Allen. After all that, he somehow survives and then breaks his foot during a safe looking splash on Dynamite. And now he has to postpone his Mount Everest trip. So he was going to be leaving AEW for a while. Now he has to leave AEW for a while as he recovers. But who knows? I mean, it's AEW, it's Darby Allen. You almost wouldn't be surprised if he broke his foot intentionally just to write himself out. Yeah, he could have done that. But what I would say is fair play to him. He finished the match, continued, not like he threw up an X, like a Sin Cara. I mean, a broken foot's pretty serious. It's not your know, run of the mill injury. Yeah, I can respect that. Yeah, I mean, he dove to the outside. It's not quite Triple H like finishing with right. one quad left on, but. No, it's definitely not that. But I think, I think a broken. It's a broken foot, right? But it's not a broken foot in the sense of like a bone sticking out. It's just the bone's broken. Like, I think if the bone's sticking out, you, I don't think you're doing much. I mean, like, Angle, right? And he broke his neck, won the Olympics. Austin broke his neck. But could you imagine if the bone was actually sticking out of their neck? I mean, that's a whole different kettle of fish. And it's the same here. But fair play to them all, nonetheless. Yeah, because when someone breaks a neck, there's different kind of neck breaks. Someone could break a neck, but you're still not, you're not okay, but you've got a little bit of mobility. Whereas there could be breaking necks that kill you. Aye. Or spot. completely uh, paralyse you. Yep. And the same with broken foots. So there'll be broken foots where you maybe literally, that foot's fucked. That's you done. Or there could be a broken foot where it's maybe just a bone or two. Because there's quite a lot of bones in the human foot, and I'm not quite sure the total amount, but... I'm sure Darby Allen's near enough broke all of them. Yeah, he's, I think he's pretty much broke every bone there is to break in his career. But yeah, Darby Allen out after that Dynamite match, and he was set to climb Mount Everest, and I don't know if it's safe for Darby Allen to climb Mount Everest. I think he's a kind of crazy bastard that would actually, I don't know, throw himself off the top or something. Is that his next spot? I mean, it could be... A swanton bomb off the top of Mount Everest. I mean, it is the highest place on Earth, so if there's a if there's a point to do it, it would be that at the end of the day. But Darby Allen, I mean, you know what? At least Tony can. He seems to let people just go and do their own thing. But here, the, see, after the spot he did, he should be able to do what he wants. Well, he won't be climbing to the the Mount Rushmore of wrestling, so maybe. Aye. Maybe Mount Everest is as good as it gets for Darby Allen, but he won't be going this year, guys. He's, he's ruled it out, and you know what? Darby Allen, I'm not a massive fan, but you don't like to see anybody get hurt. And, you know, in some weird way, I actually do have a bit of respect for Darby, even though he came out and he, he criticised Kurt Angle and called him a little bitch. I don't agree with that, but I think when someone puts their body on the line, when someone takes the kind of risks that Darby Allen takes, like, you've got to have some form of respect for them even if they are fucking retarded and no, I will. You know, ridiculous for doing it. He shouldn't do it and I don't get the calling out of Kurt Angle because Kurt Angle would kill him. Park Angle. Down, down, down. He'd down, break down, more down. than his foot. I'd break his freaking neck. Anyway guys, that's it. Darby Allen is out. Hopefully he comes back soon but you know what, this is probably good news for Darby Allen because he'll probably get a few weeks off at least. I'm going to imagine that he'll take time off and Aye. he probably needs it because the guy has been wrestling quite a lot, always doing these crazy stunts so I, you know what, a couple of weeks, a month off for Darby Allen won't be the end of the world. And it looks like he wasn't even prepared for Mount Everest. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you need to actually put preparation into that. And it looks like he was just kind of going to go and do it. So Yeah, it's not one of those things you can just decide, oh, I'm going to do that today. No. Like, so, it, it, I'm pretty sure it takes you at least a couple of days to climb it. Yeah, so who knows? Um, he'll come back better than ever, I guess. Take him off TV. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, But you know, I, I think he was like associated with Sting for so long. Probably time off will actually help the guy. Aye. Maybe, maybe he'll take 66-year-old Sting up Mount Everest. Aye, who knows? Maybe Sting I'll be... carried him the past couple of years. Can he carry him up a mountain? Let's we'll see. Let's, anyway, guys, catch you in the next one. Been Fog Entertainment. Wrestling. Till next time. Peace.